Ashley Trujillo moved to Tucson in August to pursue an education from the University of Arizona. She's a transfer student from Mesa Community College east of Phoenix and plans to earn two bachelor's degrees from the U of A. After that, Trujillo has her sights set on law school. Becoming an immigration lawyer is important to me because my whole life I have seen people taken away from me. I have seen friends having to change their life or just lack of education due to immigration status. She and her sisters were born in Arizona, but their parents are from Mexico. They and other relatives make up a mixed status family, U.S. citizens, legal residents, and undocumented immigrants. For Trujillo, this topic is pivotal, and so is her desire to participate in the political process. She's 19 years old and will cast a ballot for the first time this year. For me, it's important to vote because in 2016, there was only 42% of young voters that came out to vote, and now that I can finally vote, I think it's important because the next presidential um, candidate, whoever's going to be our next president, will make a big difference and impact on the um, Latin community. They need to realize their impact. Like Eduardo Lemus is a 22-year-old artist from Tucson, and like Trujillo, he'll be voting for the first time this election cycle. Even though he qualified in 2016, he wasn't very interested back then. But something clicked this year, and now he feels he needs to have his voice heard. I didn't really understand the power of it. I just couldn't grasp it because I wasn't really taught or be put in that, put towards that energy of you have to vote for your community because that's how it works. Like you should understand the process. Lemus and Trujillo are volunteering with different groups to encourage other citizens to register and vote. Lemus is with Arizona Coalition for Change, Trujillo with Aliento. Both plan to vote for the Democratic ticket. Immigration reform, expanding health care, and protecting the environment are some of their goals. Like how right now we're dealing with climate change. Everything we do right now doesn't seem meaningful because if the planet just burns us up, then what we build just doesn't matter. It won't survive what we're doing to the planet. Polls show more Latinos in Arizona are registering as Democrat over Republican. However, President Trump is reaching out to this vital demographic group. In this recent visit to Phoenix, he held a Latinos for Trump roundtable. Tucson resident Debbie Campos was there. She's an active Republican who supports the president. So he's a man that really sticks by what he says. He helps Hispanics, and Hispanics have done very well under Donald Trump. Even Hispanic business owners, he did a great thing with the PPP, which helped many Hispanic owners, and it also helped with our taxes, reducing the taxes for Hispanic owners. So, you know, I, I've, done, I've done very well under Donald Trump. Campos is a native Tucsonan whose grandparents came from Mexico. While she knows many Latinos register as Democrats, she feels the Republican Party is a better option. She's against abortion, in favor of beefed up border enforcement, and pro-Second Amendment, among others. When I was a kid, every Latino I knew was a Democrat. And I didn't feel when I, I had my own family and a business, I didn't feel like the Democrat Party was doing anything for me. So I decided to follow the values of the Republican Party. And to be honest with you, they kind of follow my values. Political scientists like Lisa Sanchez say the growing Latino population cannot be ignored by either party. The challenge is connecting and getting them to turn out at the polls. The big question since the 80s has been, how do you, quote, wake the sleeping giant? I'm sure you've heard this terminology before. Um, and that's that's in reference to trying to get Latinos to vote in, in Congress with their amounts in the population. And one of the ways we found is when there are issues on the ballot they care about, and that goes for any voter, but also we've noticed that sort of fear and threat, so these sort of emotional things that surround issues they care about, like immigration, like building of walls, um, like racial justice and rights, all of those things kind of in increase their feelings of fear and, and threat um, in their place of, in the population, and therefore they're very spurred to vote. Whatever their preference, 2020 may see a record number of Latino voters. In each subsequent election, starting in around 2012, um, increases in Latinos voter turnout. Um, and part of the, part of the uh, reason behind that is once Latinos are actually registered to vote, they're actually highly likely to cast 
a ballot. So it's it's really all about kind of the registration game. So that's one thing I would say is a big overall trend that we're watching and we watch with each election.